A cyclops was a monster in ancient Greek mythology, a giant with a single eye. In this video, I'll look at some wordplay used in ancient literature about cyclopes and uncover the etymology. One of the earliest surviving works of literature about Cyclopes is Hesiod's Theogony, probably written in the 8th century BC. This poem describes the origin of the Greek gods and says, And earth also bore the Cyclopes, who had arrogant hearts, and they were just like gods in all other ways, except that they had a single eye set in the middle of their forehead. And they were called Cyclopes by name because there was one circle-shaped eye in their forehead. Let's go into Hesiod's explanation of the name Cyclopes. You see, the ancient Greek word for Cyclops is Kuklops. The Greek word for circle or wheel is Kuklos, which gives us the English word cycle. And Orps is a word for eye, which is linked to English words such as optical. According to Hesiod, the word cyclops derives from these words and means circle-eyed. And the word is used as an adjective by Parmenides, a philosopher from the 6th century BC, in his poem On Nature. As he begins to explain the origins of the celestial bodies, he describes the moon as kuklopos, circle-eyed, or perhaps better translated here as round-faced. But isn't there something a bit strange about cyclops, meaning circle-eyed? That their eye is round is hardly a distinctive feature. All eyes are round. Their distinctive characteristic is that they have one eye, so you'd expect them to be named single-eyed or something like that, rather than circle-eyed. It's been argued more recently that Hesiod's etymology of cyclops is actually incorrect. And therefore, using cyclops as an adjective, as Parmenides did, is also misguided. Instead of dividing kuklops into kuklos and orps, it could be divided into ku and klops. Ku isn't a Greek word, but it could be a remnant of a word for cattle in Proto-Indo-European, the ancestor of the ancient Greek language. Klops means thief. If Cyclops meant cattle thief, this fits well with the description of Cyclopes in the epic poem The Odyssey, where it says, The Phaeacians lived in spacious Hyperea, near the hubristic Cyclopes, who were stronger than them and would always rob them. Polyphemus is the most well-known example of a Cyclops acting lawlessly. When Odysseus meets him, introducing himself as no one, Polyphemus eats two of his companions, and in response, Odysseus blinds him with a burning torch. This story is told both in the Odyssey and in the play Cyclops by Euripides. After Polyphemus is blinded, he shouts for help, but his cries of, No one has blinded me, are met with mockery by the play's chorus. So the Greeks thought that Cyclops came from the words for circle and eye, when some now think it's from words for cattle and thief. But we may never be sure how the word Cyclops really came about. Did anything in this video surprise you? Are there features of language you've always wondered about? Leave a comment. While you're here, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get another video from Philologism every week.